Hi, welcome to our Intergraph storage tank design software presentation. Intergraph tank is a comprehensive wall storage tank design and analysis software package. Intergraph tank provides you with quick and accurate designs for new tanks and the ability to evaluate existing tank also. With tank, you can take advantage of full wall storage tank analysis and design capabilities for wall thickness, materials, supported cone roofs, seismic requirements, bottom plate thickness, nozzle flexibilities, shell settlement, wind guarded requirements, allowable fruit heights, etc. So, Intergraph tank perform calculation in accordance with the latest API standard 650 and 653. It is calculate air vending requirements to API 2000 section 4.3. Analysis can also take into account for wind seismic and settlement conditions. In the software we need to have some inputs like general tank data, loop specification, loop specification can calculate as per API 650 Appendix F, then seismic data specification with API 650 Appendix E, grillage review with API 650 Appendix I, nozzle stiffness with Appendix P, Cycle Life with Appendix M, External Pressure with Appendix V, Shell Settlement with Appendix B, Inspection Data as per API 650, and Venting Requirement, it is API 2000. First we will see the general tank data. You can see this window, this icon is for the general tank data. In general tank data, you could see here, from here, API code, design code. From here, we will select the design code, whether it's a 650 or 653. Then the design objective, run objective. Here, we will put the design temperature. Right now, it is in Fahrenheit because we have selected the English units. You can change the units also. So design pressure at top, then tank normal diameter, cell height, design liquid level, a specific gravity, all the details you need to put it here. Then here you can see number of cell courses. Let us suppose I am typing here 5. Once I type here 5, then we need to go for the cell courses. Once you click on this tab cell courses, you will get this window. We can see here in the tank data, we have given number of cell courses 5. As per the same, you can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So cell courses is 5. Here you need to put the height, thickness, course and allowance, material of the cell courses, and the stresses value, hydrostate, all the values. Once you put the material, if you have the value, you can type it here very, very well. Otherwise, software will take the standard value. Then the third option, third tab is wind detail. Once you click on that wind detail, you'll get this window. Here you need to specify the API 6 wind input. If you have the data, let's suppose you can say the user defined data, where you will have the value at this height, there's a wind pressure, at much this height, there's a wind pressure. So this is a user defined, you can see this icon. Once you, once you click this icon, user defined, you'll get this window. Here, very well, you can type at this height, this is our wind pressure. And next is anchor bolt and gusset details. Here, you need to put the detail for the anchor bolt. The software will give you the result, this anchor bolt is sufficient or not, as per your requirement. Next is loop specification. This is the icon 
for the Rupa specification. The Rupa specification, we have three types, general Rupa specification, supported cone roof data, and guider rings. Once you click on general roof specification, you will get this window where you need to select the roof type, what kind of roof you want to use. It's whether it's a supported cone, whether it's a rafted supported cone, cone, umbrella, or dome. Then net area at roof and shell junction. Then the thickness of the roof, all the details you need to fill here. In the ne next tab, supported roof cone data, you get this window where preferred rafter type if you if you are giving any rafter guider column so you need to provide this detail it's a whether it's a white flange type whether it's a channel type and next is the guider rings the program includes following material database tank has many database integral to the package which make it easy to select a standard data for accurate analysis. A number of US and international structure steel databases are provided. API materials to currently this uh, tank 2015 is using API 650 2002 material database. Apart from there, the user can edit or customize the material properties as per the project requirement. Like same as material if you have a uh, different requirement in the units so you can make your own unit file as per your project requirement also once you do the modeling user can view the result in a table report or a graphic diagram with associated data for convenience in verifying the results the output report difference code section used very applicable. Once you finish your model input data and you are going for the analysis, you will get this window. Here you could see if anything is fail in your model, it will come in the red mark. So at a glance only you will come to know, let us suppose for this window, I came to know, yeah, this is the red mark, but something is problem with this anchor ball database. So once you click in anchor ball data, data about report, you will get a brief report. There you will get a red mark, which is the exactly problem associated with the anchor ball. So this is very good features. So once you analyze your model, in the in the in the in the one in the single glance only you will come to know, yeah, this report is failed. Thank you.